Okay, with uh, Chungking Mansions, what you do is you go here to this block C, right? And actually, you can, if you look carefully, see there's the end of the hallway. Way down that way, way down that way, there you will hit, you'll run to the street. So essentially, you from the main entrance, you come all the way back. This is to get to the, this really good guest house. At any time, you can go up here and you can just look for any of these guest houses and choose one that you like. And there are very many of them. And I'm actually going to go here to this one, the Mar Maharaja guest house. Um, and there's a lot of security here. You can see here there's cameras in the elevators. I don't know if that means there's a lot of crime or it means, I mean, it could meet, cut both ways, right? It could cut both ways. So I'm on the sixth floor, and um, they also, the, where you check in is at, at the fourth floor, on the fourth floor. And my experience with them so far has been just screaming fast, really good internet. So again, it's a chunky mansion. Follow those directions I just showed you there. This way you'll get a decent rate provided you follow some of the other tips I've given or will give you right now. Um, so at any rate, so they have these guest houses all over the place. Um, here is mine. Well, first before I go in there, one option you have is just going from floor to floor. There's got to be over a hundred guest houses in the Chungking Mansions. You can go from floor to floor. Knock on the door, knock, knock, knock. Hello, um, do you have any rooms available, etc.? Uh, and then ask them, ask to see it, check the prices. Like I say, what I'm paying right now during a weekday on a non holiday season is 200 Hong Kong dollars, which is, you know, it's about 28 US dollars, something like that. So use your key card to get in. Uh, a lot of these places actually have cameras. This one doesn't, but it's got a lot of security. Um, again, if you don't go during a holiday, if you do not go during a holiday, you um, should not have to pay about, and you can, you know, I stayed here one time for two months and I had a deal where I was paying 150, 150 um, Hong Kong dollars uh, per night. It was really cheap, but what I did was I paid two weeks in advance. I stayed for two months. Um, you can see these blocks here, they're guest houses all throughout here, all throughout here. Um, so at any rate, I have another video on chunking. Uh, well, I essentially it is on. It's kind of like a repeat of this video. You can watch it if you. It may be that I gave a few tidbits of information in that video that I didn't in this one. Um, again, this particular room, twenty-eight U.S. dollars. Uh, this is Hong Kong. Hong Kong's very cheap. Uh, hot water, shower. Uh, yes, yeah, slim pickings. It's essentially a queen size bed. You've got a refrigerator there, um, TV, window. This is what you get um, when you're in Hong Kong. And this is really, it's uh, in Kowloon, not that far from the Star Ferry. You're just a hop, skip, and a jump forever, anywhere you'd like to be. I'm staying here for a couple nights. Um, again, you shouldn't pay during this particular time period. That is a non-holiday season. During holidays, I have come here when these places are uh, four times the price, three times the price. They shoot way up. If it's a holiday, a special holiday, don't come here. Come during the weekdays. Um, the weekends also aren't that bad, but again, like I say, if there is some big special event or holiday, you should expect these prices to go way up. So you want to consider that, all right? You want to consider that. 
I'm it's February 18th outside of during the week uh, again it should be pretty easy for you to find a place uh, but that's what you do don't let them charge you too much a lot of people get ripped off um, just go to the next guest house if you don't like the because they will literally assail you the minute you walk in that entrance way hey do you need a hotel need a hotel 